All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're still painting on our, our, on our scene. We haven't got to the horse and the officer sitting there yet. We're just trying to develop the things around it. And uh, we're going to move back and forth, back and forth. You're going to see a lot of that going on. As we can tell, our light's coming between these mountain passes. So this part of the rocks are going to be dark. Parts it'll be light. We're just trying to establish where, th where we're at here. I'm going to have some water on my brush. We got some of this light color here. There's probably gonna be a light cast right across there on that rock. And just kind of blend it in a little bit. Anywhere it makes some textures where the light might be hitting. Something to, and I and when I do a rock, I, I don't mind it. It's just again it's a rolling stroke and just if you ever look at a rock, it's funny how they're made. All the different textures in there and the veins and where they all wander off to. So we're just trying to get where the lights are. Something we can throw some more dark on. Where's that light hitting? Right on the turns. Now a rock doesn't, it will, you'll see some lights, but it's not like a, a piece of metal. It doesn't. You're not gonna have strong highlights. You're gonna have that's why I roll the brush. You're gonna have more muted strokes on there. This one, see the light's hitting right there on that rock and just kind of carrying back in here a little bit. Roll that back in and just establish where that light's hitting it. Roll it into the rock. And just a little bit on this rock is down a little bit. To follow down we go, the less light we're gonna have. We'll have some, but not as bright, because they're down in like it's down in the holler. See, it's just so as your brush thins out, move it down where you want that to go. Got a question? Uh huh. How do you know about so much about rocks? <laughs> That's a loaded question, folks. I was a stonemason for about ten years, and this is what I did for a living was lay rocks. So obviously, we knew something about rocks. Sun really hit a good stroke right there. See, sun hit that rock right there. So we learned about rocks the hard way. We actually played with these things for a living. And you know what? I actually had a lot of fun doing it. You did. Well, I did. Yeah, some of us did. And uh, everybody's cut out to be a stonemason. It's a hard, lot, hard, lot of hard work. But you know what? When you got done, you slipped back, and it's just like doing a paint. You built things that were beautiful, that are still standing to this day, that people are proud of. Now, don't even think of the mason. And that's the same way with this artwork. Art isn't important. The painting's what's important. We're just making something that's going to be gone. It's hopefully, somebody's going to want to keep and still here long after we're gone. Somebody's going to sit somewhere and look at and think. It's like a plate of biscuits, don't it? And if I had some butter, we'd be eating. <laughs> we'll have to work on that. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out where all this light's going to be hitting. Going right across the bluff, that rock right there. And trying to get my lights. And we'll put some more colors and stuff into it. Kind of establish that. But laying rock for a living was a good experience. Somebody told me something one time, he said, paint what you know, and well, that's what I know. That would be a fact. I can tell you about rocks. And even today, we'd find, we'd be laying rocks, you'd find, uh, well, some things you find animals and fossils. You'd pick up a rock and it'd have fossils in it. I mean, it's just neat stuff. Neat stuff. A little more wide into that. that edge in there. Now we're going to have that horse standing there, but you still have some lights kind of casting in between the shadows. His legs are there, but you have some shadows coming in here. And we'll cut all that in, but I don't catch that. Enough light there to get the edge of that rock. We want it there, but not too much. We'll cast our shadow back across there. But we got to figure, this guy's good, but he didn't ride off the edge of that cliff. Get that bluff out there a little bit further there. Bring that back. We don't want that horse and him to jump off that mountain. Might not 
be historically correct. <laughs> you know, they do have a place up there called Lover's Leap, but I don't think any of this horse really live. I think they're going to jump off that mountain. Shadow of that rock there, cast it on back in there. A little some sun on top of that rock up there. It's kind of lightly blended in them other colors that are there. Oh, we went right over our tree, didn't we? Yeah, I don't know if y'all noticed, we do that a lot. Got that big rock there and that side that's kind of getting hit by the sunlight. Indian cave is what we used to call them. Indian cave under that rock. Indian portal, we didn't stuck out in the rain. That little shelter right there might have looked awful good to him. Catch a little, kind of get under that rock a little bit. I bet it did look good to him. They could be stuck out in the rain in days, didn't have nothing over your head. Strong light right here on this rock in the foreground. Right and we'll add more colors and, and I'll go with my rocks a bunch so I get exactly what I want in the rock. But right now we're just trying to get our shapes and see how I'm holding the brush and kind of see how the effect it's making on that weave, the weave of the canvas. Use everything you got. Use it all. We got light shining right through here because we're going to have that light coming through here shining towards that horse. Eh? So we'll get that established where we want that light to come from. Wow. I put a lot of pressure on my brushes. That'll happen. They'll jump out of your hand. Well, guess what? There must have been a light shining right through there. That's where we want to do it anyway. Isn't it? That can happen. But we know what to do with it. If that light's that strong there, it's going to be that strong on the side of that rock right there, too. We'll put our trees back over at Casper Shadows. A little more water on my brush. Let's pull that light in here. I'll tell you what, guys. This is the kind of stuff that I can spend hours doing, jumping back and forth, playing. Don't get in a hurry. We ain't no hurry. Yeah, okay. 